हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज टेक्नोलॉजिकल प्रोग्रेस इन सोलो मॉडल इन विच फर्स्ट वे विल कवर द टॉपिक एफिशियंसी ऑफ लेबर लेट स्टार्ट सो फार आर प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द सोलो मॉडल हैज एज्यूम्ड एन अनचेंजिंग रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द इनपुट ऑफ कैपिटल एंड लेबर एंड द आउटपुट ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस yet the model can be modified to include exogenous technological progress which over time expands society's production capabilities to incorporate technological progress we must return to the production function that relates total capital k and total labor l to total output y thus far the production function has been y which is total output is a function of capital and labor we now write the production function as in this form where e denotes the efficiency of labor so this is total output this is function this is capital this is labor and this new term is the efficiency of labor the efficiency of labor is meant to reflect society's knowledge about the production methods so what does uh, what does efficiency of labor mean it means that it reflects society's knowledge about the production methods what does it mean as the available technology improves as the available technology improves the efficiency of labor rises as the available technology improves the efficiency of labor rises and each hour of work contributes more to the production of goods and services each hour of work contributes more to the production of goods and services because of the increase in efficiency of labor and why the efficiency of labor is increased because of technological progress because of improvement in technology clear this can be one of the example that when in the early 20th century this assembly line production concept was introduced it led to increase in efficiency of labor led to increase in efficiency of labor another example can be the introduction of computers the computerization so when it was introduced in the late 20th century again it led to increase in efficiency of labor increase in efficiency of labor another examples can be like improvement in healthcare improvement in education sector or improvement in skills of labor force all these will lead to increase in efficiency of labor efficiency of labor will be increased by the improvement in healthcare sector improvement in education sector and improvement in skills of labor force the term l times e can be interpreted as measuring the effective number of workers so basically we can say it as effective effective number of workers okay we can say this term as effective number of workers this term it takes into account the number of actual workers which is denoted by l and the efficiency of each worker okay so the so l denotes the number of actual workers and e denotes the efficiency of each worker clear in other words l measures the number of workers in the labor force whereas l times e measures both the workers and the technology with which the typical worker comes equipped so basically jo l hai wo denote karta hai number of workers in the labor force aur jo l times e hai ye denote ye, ye denote karta hai both the number of workers as well as the technology with which the typical worker comes equipped 
ओके दिस न्यू प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन स्टेट्स दैट टोटल आउटपुट वाई डिपेंड्स ऑन द इनपुट्स ऑफ कैपिटल के एंड इफेक्टिव वर्कर्स एल टाइम्स ई सो बेसिकली अर्लियर वेन वी यूज टू राइट द प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन एज इन दिस फॉर्म so we say that output is a function of capital and labor but now because the production function has been modified into this form we will say that the production function is a function of, uh, 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 that the total output is a function of capital and effective workers okay the essence of this approach to modeling technological progress is that increases in the efficiency of labor e are analogous to increases in the labor force l i will explain this statement to you what does what does this statement mean see suppose there are two workers okay suppose there are two workers and each produce Five units per hour. Five units per hour. Now suppose that efficiency of labor, efficiency of labor is doubled. Assume that the efficiency of labor is doubled. Then each worker. will be as productive as two workers in this form so each worker will be as productive as two workers he will also produce 5 units and this is also 5 units in the same way this will be as productive as two workers 5 units Five units. So the main point is the actual number of workers are still same. Earlier they were two, and now they are still two. The actual number of workers are two. There is no change in actual number of workers. They are still same, but the number of effective workers, that is L times E, it has been doubled. Four. It has been doubled because each worker is as productive as two. workers because the efficiency of labor has been doubled so we will say the actual number of workers will remain same two but the number of effective workers will be four is that clear and also the total output will also be increased earlier there were 10 units and now it has been increased to 20 units that is even if the actual number of workers l stays the same the effective number of workers l times e doubles and the economy benefits from the increased production of goods and services this is what i have explained it to you that the actual number of workers are same l equals to 2 but the number of effective workers the number of effective workers has been doubled why it has been doubled because of the because the efficiency of labor has been doubled because the efficiency of labor has been increased clear the simplest assumption about the technological progress is that it causes the efficiency of labor e to grow at some constant rate g so this is the assumption about technological progress that it causes the efficiency of labor e to grow at some constant rate g for example if just a second for example if g equals to 0.02 then each unit of labor becomes 2% more efficient each year 2% means it is 2% okay so if g equals to 0.02 2% then each unit of labor becomes 2% more efficient each year output increases as if this is the main word 
आउटपुट इंक्रीजेस एज इफ द लेबर हैड इंक्रीज्ड बाय टू परसेंट मोर देन इट रियली डिड एक्चुअल नंबर ऑफ वर्कर्स आर स्टिल सेम देर इज नो चेंज इन एक्चुअल नंबर ऑफ वर्कर्स बट बट द इफेक्टिव नंबर ऑफ वर्कर्स हैज बीन इंक्रीज बट द इफेक्टिव नंबर ऑफ वर्कर्स हैज बीन इंक्रीज which will lead to increase in output this form of technological progress is called labor augmenting and g is called the rate of labor augmenting technological progress okay because the labor force l is growing at a rate n the efficiency of unit of uh, uh, the efficiency of each unit of labor e is growing at a rate g thus we can say that the effective number of workers denoted by l times e is growing at a rate of n plus g clear thank you